Hello friends, welcome back to Sanair Web YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to make autocomplete search with PHP and Ajax. Let us see live demo first and after that we will configure how to set up this autocomplete in your web page. Let us see demo first, right? Now here you can see we take one text box. Now we search here like my name search. So here you can see all the autocomplete searching text will display below. And if I search something like test, then test text will display below. So this is how this autocomplete search will work. Now how to set up this autocomplete search in your web page? Let us see step by step, right? So here you can see, I already created one live blog and created one blog for you. So you can see step by step, so you can easily configure this autocomplete in your web page. So here you can see in a step one, we create one simple table, right? Here you can see we create one simple table, calendar event master. So here you can see I already created and I also set this create table script here. So you can copy paste this create table script. I already created that table here. So here you can see create calendar event master and also I inserted some sample data. So you also need to insert your sample data. I already inserted so many test data here. So here you can see my all the test data here. Suppose I need to search Carlon. Suppose. So here you can see Carlon EMI. It will searching here. Suppose I want to party event. Suppose I search here party event. So it will text appear here. So this is how this autocomplete search will work. So you must have to create this table and uh, dummy data will enter in your table right now. Now in a step two, you need to create one simple PHP file. So here I created one file like index.php. So you must to create one folder and inside that folder you have to create that file. So here I created one folder like autocomplete and inside that folder I created one file like index.php, right? So I open that file and that file you have to copy paste this code. I also explain this entire code step by step. So you must have to copy paste this whole code in index.php file. So you have to copy and paste into the index.php file, right? So I uh, I already copy paste that uh, code in my files. Now step by step we will see what code we require and what we need to set up and configure in this file. So here you can see we simply take some library, right? So for designing purpose we have included some bootstrap min.css file and after that I included jquery min.js because we will write some jquery code. So we have to include that uh, jquery min.js and after that bootstrap min.js. This is a default bootstrap min.js file which is required for bootstrap framework, right? Now the most important part is whenever you need to ca call autocomplete method at that time you must have to use this jquery ui.css file and jquery ui.min.js file. This is this both two file will require for autocomplete configuration, right? So you have to mention or include this two library into your code. Now after that you can see here we take one text box, right? So here also you can see we take one text box, right? Also inspect that text box and here you can see we take text box and inside this text box we take name and ID is a event name. So you must have to declare one name and ID here. So he this name and ID we will use and also you must have to declare hidden. So where we will store our ID like suppose my event name is 
my event name is carlon emi but i want to store that event id so for that event id we will store inside this hidden variable or hidden field right so inside this event id we will store that event id and inside this event name we will store our event name right for further coding that event id we will use or you can use that event id right so this is how you need to create a one simple text box and after that the most important code you must have to use this autocomplete method you can search this autocomplete method in jquery ui so if you learn more about this autocomplete then you have to search on google this autocomplete method we are using in this code so if you want to learn more then you can go to the jquery ui website and there is a one method autocomplete that method we are using in this demo so here you can see here the some documentation and all that here so you can learn this autocomplete from here also now now here you can see we call this autocomplete method based on this event name that event name we already declare here as a id so you must have to declare this id here so whenever you type anything at that time this autocomplete method will call now here you can see we call one file like search data.php so we need to create that file so here you can see we already created one file like search data.php so here you can see so inside this file we create or included one file like database connection.php why we need this database connection file because we we need to take data from the database and we require the database connection to get the data from the table and all that so you must have to include this database connection file and that configuration i also share with you so here you can see we need to create one file like database connection.php so inside this, this file you must have to mention your host name username password and your database name so that uh, database connection file will need to include inside this file so here you can see database connection.php this is simple one so you must have to mention your database credential here and after that here we created one file like search data.php and inside this file here you can see we check is set dollar underscore force as a search so here we pass that data as a post method so whatever you typing inside this text box that request dot term will passing into this search parameter and that search parameter we can use here so here we will check first is there any data then we will get that data in, in this variable dollar underscore dollar search so that text or that uh, parameter value we will check inside this select query here you can see we simply write this query like select star from calendar event master where event like so this is simple select query so you must have to pass your parameter which is passed from here like whatever you have type here so you need to go to inspect element then click on network and here suppose i type the iv so when you see this search parameter like a search then my value passing like dbs so div right so this search parameter we can check here and passing into the this select query so this select query get a result from the table with your searching parameter and pass this response with this format like we need to pass this format like we need to pass event name as a label and your event id as a value so this response will pass by using this json underscore encode method so you must have to use this json encode method because we are using 
ajax so ajax will get a result by using this json encode method so here you can see that the response once this response will send from this backend side here you can see this response will coming here so now this response we have passed here once we get data from the database then the response will coming here right now here you can see once response coming from the database you must have to declare your response inside this response method now whenever you click any item like suppose i searching suppose i searching test so how to get this id event id and event value in your text box so here you can see when i click on this this is test so this event id set here like 11 so how is it possible by using this ui dot item dot label by using this you have to set your label name inside the text box and ui dot item dot value by using this you can store your id inside your event id so here you can see we have a store our value is equal to 11 that event id you can use on your further coding or your further requirement right so you have to use this id for further coding right so this is how you can set your label and value and this label we will pass from here so here you can see we pass label is equal to sorry object notation event name and here we pass id as a value and that value we can store here so this is how this so this is how this autocomplete will work and if you have any query while setting this code in your web page please write it down comment in comment section and i also share this whole code with you so you can download this code from this our blog so you must have to so you must have to configure this code in your web page and if you have any query or any question regarding this setup then please write it down your comment in comment section and i hope this video is very useful for you and and thanks for watching this video